Hi, this is just a very quick video about clinical audit because one of the most common questions I'm getting from the junior doctors and the medical students is about clinical audit. Because they've heard about clinical audit, they know this is something that's happening in UK. They want to do it, but they don't know where to start and which topics to choose. So I'll tell you about my first clinical audit uh, and I did it when I was a junior doctor and I didn't know much about it and I was uh, very new to UK. I was working as a foundation year two doctor at that time. Uh, my first clinical audit was about the drug charts and how the allergies are recorded on drug charts. So this is typically what the drug charts look like in UK and on, on top on the front, front page you'll see a section for allergies. And my first clinical audit was as simple as that, that I was looking at how, the, how these drug charts have been filled by the junior doctors or whoever was filling those charts and are they actually recording the allergies uh, correctly. So what we did was we picked up a sample of around 30 to 40 drug charts which have been filled in the department and we started auditing them. We started looking at what allergies have been recorded and then started comparing with the electronic records to see if those allergies were correctly recorded or they were something that was missing. And that actually formed a very good clinical audit but you can imagine this was a very simple project looking, just looking at the drug charts which has been already filled and all those drug charts were already available to us and uh, it it, it went on to become a presentation for the department because we picked up on some deficiencies. So this was just an example of my first clinical audit and how we did it. So then you might ask that what is a clinical audit? Uh, you can find a lot of information nowadays on the internet and find out uh, the basic principles of clinical audit. But simply speaking, clinical audit is assessing your current practice against some set guidelines. So for example, in my case, the set guidelines is that you need to fill this drug chart properly one of the most important aspect is to record the allergies the patient may have and if you're not doing that you know then obviously you're not following the guidelines and we were assessing that set guidelines set standard to fill a drug chart against what uh, the doctors were doing and how they were doing it if they were not filling it correctly what was the reason they were not doing it and how can we improve that particular practice now the story behind how i chose the topic of this audit my first audit is interesting because i was looking for a topic and i was going to my seniors asking them that I want a topic for audit, can you give me one? And they were giving me good ideas, but uh, they were looking quite complicated, you know, and I was thinking, you know, I'm here only for a limited period of time. I need to finish this in a limited period of time. And if I picked up a big project, I might not be able to complete. It might be too complicated for me to understand. I might need more supervision and, you know, that might take time. But then I went to the pharmacists who were working in the department and asked the simple question that what can we doctors do better uh, in terms of her practice and uh, she was very clear she said uh, I wish you can record the allergies properly and I said what do you mean by that and she said you know the first part of the drug chart you're not actually recording allergies properly a lot of doctors are uh, not filling that section properly and I said well that's a good idea to do audit that and see if we can uh, collect some uh, information on it that how many drug charts have been filled correctly how many are not filled correctly how many times the mistakes have been picked up by the pharmacist and then we can uh, uh, write it, write up, write this up, and as an audit. And this was a simple idea because I have access to the drug charts. I was working in the department. I have the support of the pharmacist as well, who was telling me how to actually check for the allergies using the electronic records, and how uh, to compare it with the current drug charts. So then the question of what happens after you have finished the audit. So we actually. Uh, made a presentation of this audit and did the departmental presentation where all the junior doctors were attending and informed them about the stat standards, informed them the importance of allergies and how many times this has been missed and picked up by the pharmacist and you know that how to do it correctly, how to fill the drug chart correctly. At that time I just got a certificate of that, that audit followed by my presentation and I didn't at that time have the experience to understand that these kind of audits can actually go to conferences as well as posters and can be written as abstracts. So if I was writing an abstract of this particular audit I will write uh, my aims of what I am trying to audit. So for example in this case I was trying to audit the drug charts specifically the uh, recording of allergies against the set guidelines. Uh, and the background of why I've chosen that particular topic, uh, methods, how I was collecting the information and the analysis uh, and then some uh, uh, more ideas of how to improve this, you know, so four or five headings in four or five headings, I can, I, I can complete an abstract. Those again, those four or five headings can actually go on a poster as well and can make a poster uh, and can uh, be submitted to a conference. So my advice is always, 
always this that uh, the audits can be done anywhere in the world it's not just something that is only happening in uk then could be done in your home country it could be done in subcontinent it could be done in a hospital wherever you think uh, a service needs improvement wherever you think a part of service that can be assessed against set standards and that could lead to improvement uh, you can actually pick up those topic identify those areas and complete an audit uh, followed it audit by uh, doing a presentation of that audit try to implement some changes and then do a re audit and that can help you to complete a quality improvement project but i might advise also that if you are a junior doctor but you student pick up a simple topic that you can manage pick up a topic that is not too complicated because as first experience of an audit you need to go through the process of it and you will learn a lot through that process even if the pro if if the concept or the topic is very simple after that you have gained experience after when you have have some insight into how this is done then you can go on and and start picking up some more complicated topics you can also find a lot of uh, examples of completed audit that have been put on internet by uh, different forums you can have a look at them and see if you can replicate something similar in your department uh, you can always discuss it with your seniors uh, if you're working in a department when nobody has concept of audit you know you can always contact somebody working abroad somebody working in uk to run past your ideas uh, to with with them and see this if this is a viable option if this is a viable order this is this is something that will uh, look good in terms of service improvement uh, and then that might help to improve your cv all the best with your first project and uh, fingers crossed it will all turn out well if it doesn't don't worry you can try again and find another project and another environment and you will eventually you will get the idea of it eventually you will start doing audit and quality improvement projects